Sarah Dady is back tonight from Dady Law Group. Thanks so much for being here. I'm happy to be here as always, Michelle. Yeah, we have a, an event coming up called What's Happening at the Border. So tell us a little bit about this. Yes, yeah, so you know, people have a lot of questions about the buses of migrants being sent from Texas to Illinois, as well as the numbers of people coming to the southern border. Um, so this event, which is being sponsored by League of Women Voters of Greater Rockford and Rockford Public Library, is bringing out Fred Sow, who is Senior Policy Counsel for Illinois Coalition for Immigrant and Refugee Rights, mm -hmm. for people in Rockford to come out and hear what's happening at the border, how it's affecting Illinois, um, how we are managing the inflow of migrants to our state. Mm -hmm. And it's a great time to get your questions answered. This is a great idea, whoever's idea it was, because we get, we have so much information these days, right? We all know this, we're like inundated on our phones, on our computers, with on TV, but it's rare that we get to ask the questions back. And on a subject that might not be very familiar with so many of us, like the questions we need to ask or like, can you clarify? You know, that's something that it's really important to be able to do. Well, absolutely. And you know, our immigration system is very complex. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a system that was set up by Congress 58 years ago, has received really no maintenance in that time. And um, context is important. Yeah. And so when we talk about people immigrating to the United States, um, coming into the US, it's important. People are gonna find surprising information. Like, for example, did you know that 30,000 Ukrainian migrants have come into the city of Chicago alone since the war began. No, I didn't. And they seem to have been <laughs> absorbed by the city relatively seamlessly. Uh -huh. So what's the difference between 30,000 Ukrainians coming into Chicago and 20,000 Venezuelans? Sure. Well, the answer might surprise you. Yeah, so that's definitely a topic to to handle there. If you have a question now, should you, like, is there an RSVP? Are we supposed to say we're coming? Is there yes. a place to do that? So there's a QR code, which I believe the flyer is going to be put up. Mm -hmm. uh, you can RSVP to attend. It is, it starts at 530 on April 23rd at the Nordloft Center. It's open to the public. You do not need to RSVP. Okay. You can come in. The questions uh, will be presented in the league way which is in writing. Uh, so pencils and paper will be available for people to write their questions for Mr. Sow okay. um, after his presentation. And what's the plan for the length of this? It starts at 5.30, are we just gonna go until all the questions are in? <laughs> You're all sleeping well, at the Nordloft? <laughs> we, we've anticipated about an hour and a okay. half. So um, that's up to Mr. Sow how long sure. he wants to uh, stay and answer questions. but. Come and get your questions answered. Find out information that's going to surprise you about the migrants coming into the United States and the challenges that they face. Sure, really important topic to cover and great to have experts being able to cover. You know, we like when you come here and tell us <laughs> things because you're an expert on this topic too, but you know, awesome to be able to talk with Fred about this um, instead of just interpreting all of that information that comes. Right. And special thank you to League of Women Voters of Greater Rockford and Rockford Public Library for sponsoring this event. Okay, and can we check out their Facebook pages for more information? Yes, okay. you can absolutely find out more information from the League of Women Voters of Greater Rockford and also Rockford Public Library. All right, and of course you can reach out to Sarah at datylawgroup.com. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. Game day is next with Vic from the Rockford Area Arts Council. We're getting ready to tell you all about art scene. We'll be right back.